In today's main course, we take you inside Zazu. The intimate restaurant hopes to reopen soon for more than just private gatherings. Eric Paulson spoke with a chef about how her staff hopes to make this work during a pandemic. Well, right now we're just trying to keep our head above water. We are doing family meals once a week and renting out the dining room for private kind of pods, um, eight or more Wednesday through Saturday. And the hardest thing for a restaurant like yours is, yours is a small, intimate restaurant. It's wonderful when there's no pandemic. It's probably hell now. <laughs> You're exactly right. It's been really hard because we can't really space the tables out enough to have um, guests in the dining room with it being lucrative and worth our time. And also it's kind of, you know, scary being in a small space. Like every other business, the pandemic has forced people to change their thinking. And in Sue's case, a little creativity will make her restaurant with four booths and limited table space work. And we have plans to have um, partitions put in in the next couple of weeks. So hopefully we'll be able to open up the restaurant and maximize our seating. And that I assume is your goal is, is to get back open again. I mean, I think that's pretty much everyone's goal. Um, we'd like to have guests in the dining room again and get back to cooking for larger amounts of people, more days during the week, and also just kind of cooking the food that we're used to making. Our family meals are more family oriented, and I'm really sick of putting beautiful food in a to-go box. So her goal in the next couple of weeks is to open her restaurant to the public, but there will be limitations because of the size of this place and for safety. We have our procedures in place for the COVID to, for safety of our staff and for the guests and we ask people to come wearing a mask, sit down, you may remove your mask while you're ordering and while eating obviously and drinking. But when you get up to go to the bathroom, we want you to put your mask back on because we need to protect our staff. And we've found that to be very difficult at times. I understand people have different beliefs, whether they wanna wear the mask or they don't wanna wear the mask, but it's really important for us for the safety of our employees and for the people that they go home to. As an employer and a mother, Sue wants to make sure that when Zazu opens for dining, they can do it safely and profitably. But we're gonna have to be really smart about how we configure the tables. And we might have to ask customers to have like a window of time that they're going to be dining. I know a lot of people don't go out much anymore, so they kind of end up parking in the seats for a lot longer than normal. If we want to maximize our seating, we need people to come, eat, enjoy themselves, and then leave so we can sanitize, clean everything up, and get another table in there. And there is kind of a, a COVID etiquette right now that, you know, you hope customers will understand because you guys are fighting for your lives. You know, customers are coming in to enjoy a good meal. I mean, all it takes is a couple of cocktails when people forget to put their mask back on or they start laugh, you know, I'm scared of them laughing and crying and getting too excited because, you know, it's airborne. We gotta be really careful about that. And I want people to have a good time, but I also want them to be respectful of our staff and to the other people dining in the dining room. And hopefully all goes well at Zazu, which I learned from Sue is not how she pronounces the name of her restaurant. So I'm Slovak and in um, Slovak za means again. And so this is, was like my re, you know, my rebirth coming back after having a child and taking some time off. So it's my Sue again. So and you pronounce it za Sue. Sue. Mm -hmm. And that was Eric Paulson reporting. You can go to our website to stay on top of their reopening plans. You'll also find on our website links to the restaurant's family meal options, to-go menu, and ordering process.